Okay, welcome. This is uh, Wednesday Night Hop, uh, September 2018, technical track, uh, dynamic connection, tension, and compression. I'm Brian. I'm Heather. Uh, so this week we talked about sugar pushes and how to add a dynamic connection to your sugar pushes. Mm -hmm. um, we started by talking about the hand position you need for tension and compression. So for leaders, you're going to want to bend at the first knuckle and keep your arms relatively low. Followers as well, bend at the first knuckle. And then to practice this by ourselves, we did sort of these isometric exercises where we have one hand leading and the other hand following. And then we could practice compression and tension. And just went back and forth with this. Yep, and we really emphasized if you were doing uh, tension, it's uh, fingers are the ones creating the tension. And if it's compression, it's the leader's palm is pressing against the follower's uh, fingers. This uh, preserves a lot of the wrist position of the follower and makes everything just very ergonomic mm -hmm. um, and safe for everybody. Yep. Um, then we practice the body positioning mm -hmm. associated with tension and compression. So uh, we got our knees bent a little bit, we had our feet displaced a little bit, and then we practiced moving our hips back mm -hmm. and forth, but keeping our hands in the same position. And we're really moving um, from our core, and uh, you should sort of feel like your knees are on sliders or on wheels moving backward and forward. I am changing weight between the two feet. Um, and while it looks like the elbows are moving relative to the body, it's really the body moving relative to the elbows here. Um, and that's what allows us to create tension and compression, is movement relative to your hands. So then we practiced tension drills mm -hmm. uh, paired up. So either the leader or the follower can initiate the tension. Absolutely. And we start with our hands nice and low in this neutral relaxed position. Mm -hmm. And then whoever's initiating will sit back a little bit and it'll create that tension here. And we return to neutral and repeated with both partners initiating that. Mm -hmm. And you can do different levels of, of tension. You can ask for only just a little bit or you can ask for quite a lot. Um, a couple of things that we found, we noted as we were going through this was really make sure that you're taking your, so your center back, not down and not up. Uh, also making sure that you're using your center rather th and that your arms are still nice and loose. We're not gripping or pulling um, in, in any way. Mm -hmm. um, and then the last thing was uh, keeping our frame nice and solid, which was uh, shoulders up, back, down, and leave them there. Yep. Uh, we then we did the same drill with compression. Mm -hmm. So making sure we were coming in with our hands and similar idea, making sure the leaders are getting that nice wrist rotation uh, to press against the followers fingers. Mm -hmm. And making sure again here we're not uh, we're not leaning. We are moving our core. So the difference there is primarily seen in the the bend of the knee. Um, we're actually pushing sort of off the floor at each other rather than just leaning on each other uh, or leaning backwards, yeah? So it's really moving your core. Mm -hmm. And then we applied that to sugar pushes. Mm -hmm. so it looks like this. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. So we wanted to emphasize for the leaders um, bringing your follow towards you on one and two. Mm -hmm. And so you end up moving back up and through about four. On four, you take this strong step forward to send your follow in the other direction. Mm -hmm. And then on five and six, you're building up tension to stop your follow. Yep. And so uh, it's the East Coast footwork. Step, step, triple step, triple step. Um, followers, I'm really maintaining my momentum all the way through uh, and giving my leader something to work with uh, at both ends of this. Uh, if Brian were not in my way, I would just keep going either forward or backward because of the uh, tension and compression that I've been given. Yep. And the amount you move and the amount of tension and compression is going to vary from partner to partner and move to move. Um, and how you're feeling that day. Yep. Um, generally, if you're trying to build up more compression or more tension, you want to start a little bit sooner so you can still get that gradual build up and not throw anyone into a wall. And so a small one and big one can look anywhere from ha buddha do bada do do shoot bada do bada da shoot bada bada. Yep. That was our class. Thanks. See you next week. <laughs>